turn and other perfect turn related. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you for having me on today. Well, happy Boxing Day to you, my friend. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We yeah. made it to another Boxing we Day. We made it to it, <laughs> and it's just the start of Christmas week, and uh, a lot of people up here, and uh, I, I know there's a lot of people enrolled in school. Tell us uh, what we should know. Yeah, so we, uh, we've we had a fantastic year so far, far in terms of getting enrollment. We have uh, 415 kids in, our, in all of our junior programs, so that's our mini cuffers, bubble cuffers, all mountain, big mountain and junior pros. Um, so fantastic year, getting back more sort, uh, more towards those pre-COVID numbers, which is always nice to yeah. see. Um, you know, and then CVA weekend program, they're doing a fantastic job there. I've heard numbers somewhere in the 370 to 380 range. It's almost always um, full. It's, it is almost always full. Um, you know, and, and so, and then that doesn't even count all of the, all the daily programs that we're going to be running. We'll probably have somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 to 200 people a day in some sort of ski school daily product. Mm. Um, so when you add that up, it's yeah, we're on any given Saturday or on a on a on a busy vacation week, you're looking at about a thousand people in some sort of right. ski school or slash CVA program. So it's awesome. It's great. Uh, with that uh, comes some responsibility. Mm -hmm. And maybe you could tell us a little bit. I know that the code has changed. It's, it's now your responsibility code. Correct. Yeah. So, so the biggest thing that we look at when, when it comes to this time of the year, right, we know the numbers that we have, but we also know what the resort looks like as a whole. Um, and so just really stressing your responsibility code, you know, little things like we know what the conditions could be like, hopefully in, with this forecast coming up, we're going to get some more soft stuff. Yep. Um, but the snow is still pretty slick at times, right? And so making sure that we're always staying within control of ourselves and being able to stop when we need to, because it's not always the things that we see, it's sometimes the things that come out of our periphery that we end up having to deal with. So right. little things like that, or just making sure that wherever we're stopping on the hill over this next week or so, just making sure that we're visible from a lot of different areas. Right. Um, sometimes you can be your best supporter in terms of keeping yourself safe down the hill. Um, and just making sure, you know, we're going to see a lot of different people of a lot of different ability levels out there, right? We, we've all seen it, and they all end up on a lot of different trails, right? Sure, so, sure. And, and so just understanding that, you know, for you, someone who's extremely comfortable as a skier or a rider, um, there may not be the same people around you that have that same level of confidence. Right. You know, and so, um, you know, when you're, when you're overtaking someone, just, just make sure that we're giving everybody a whole lot of space, right? Like, uh, we talk a lot about it in ski school. Like, we're not some of the really fancy cars that we have nowadays. Like, we don't have anti-collision technology in <laughs> us. Wouldn't that be nice? You know, it would be great. It would save us all kinds of time. But, but we don't have that, right? So just making sure that we're giving everybody tons of space, you know, not just from a safety perspective, but also for our guests who are coming and they're newer to the sport, they're still working on so many other things, and, yeah. and their confidence is a huge component of that. Right. You know, so all of a sudden, if we end up buzzing right past somebody really close, all of a sudden their head goes onto a swivel, and they're way more focused on what's going on around them as compared to what am I trying to do with my skiers or board yeah. to be able to get me down the hill. Even with the intermediate, uh, that, that, that yeah. still happens. Oh, Someone yeah. comes whizzing by, and you didn't expect it. Absolutely. Yeah, you gotta got to watch, up, watch uphill. Fortunately, or... Unfortunately, for some, we don't have a lot of wood skiing right Yes, now. correct. So there's not a lot of people popping out of the trails. Well, on purpose anyway. Right. But still, you've got to be aware of that. Well, and, and on, on weeks like this, like we, we know what terrain we have available, and, and <clears throat> the Mountain Ops team has done a fantastic job, and, and I know they're going to continue to, to hopefully get us more and more terrain open as the week goes on. You know, but there's a lot of merge points, mm -hmm. right? So it's, you know, yes, the, the tree skiing pop out, we see it a lot throughout the season, but... In times like this, when we have really high concentrated areas, um, just knowing, hey, I got to make sure that I'm looking uphill when I'm coming across a, a particular merge point or, or whatever the case happens to be, because um, it's, it's those little things that if we can just build up across the entire resort, right. huge success yeah, for us. Yeah, and, and as we look at the weather event that we just had, we're very fortunate to have what we have. Absolutely. But normally we would have a little bit of a buffer on each yeah. side. We don't have that. Either more they have that any more than the roads do. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. Now. Exactly. Exactly. Every barrel in town is being used. Don't drive between them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Precisely. we got a lot of kids, a lot of people on vacation, a lot of activities. So just a lot to be aware of. And and should heaven forbid someone ever collide, there is a policy. 
Absolutely, yeah. So, so the big things for us, wh whether you're associated with a ski school product or not, like please make sure if there is a collision, let's get ski patrol involved first right off the bat. Let's mm -hmm. get that call in, right? And because it's oftentimes there's so much adrenaline, right? I mean, I know I've been in that situation. I don't know if you've been in it I've, as well. I have. You know, so like the collision happens and all of a sudden your brain starts going 10,000 miles an hour, right? Get ski patrol involved right off the bat. Um, a, they can assess you to make sure that something isn't actually an issue when you're not noticing it. Yeah. Um, but also that, that way you guys can start exchanging information to make sure that, you know, if there's a situation that comes up later, we're, hit, we're, we're making sure that everybody has the appropriate contact info right. and we can deal with the situation, um, whether it's on hill or, or off the yeah. hill later. Be gracious. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Great information, yeah. Austin. Absolutely. We appreciate it. And Austin, you are uh, doing some teaching today. Will you be teaching today? Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be out doing, a, doing some supervising. Um, so I'm the, the seasonal, uh, seasonal program supervisor, but then on days like today when we don't restart program till tomorrow, um, I'm going to be rounding about, helping out all of our coaches, just making sure that they have the support that they need. Awesome. they got some great support. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank Sugar you. Law for since 2012, Austin French. Thanks for joining us from Perfect Turn.